progress would be uh, new ways to develop technology that links to society. I think we've reached a stage in development of technologies uh, that has become so influential for our society that we cannot just s stick to having the idea of just nice innovations, new gadgets for our social world. I think we really need to do something like responsible design. And that's what really would contribute, I think, to a better world. I think if you try to analyze uh, technology in society, um, we are uh, entering a stage in our development where technologies start to work on human beings on all new kinds of ways. And they enter our bodies, they enter our environment, and they become intelligent agents themselves. And this really somehow challenges our society in quite a fundamental way. So if I would then think about what would it mean to develop these technologies as real progress, I would say let's try to identify what's at stake when we develop them, what kind of values do they affect somehow, and how can we take these values and these social concerns into account when we design uh, and also introduce these technologies in our society. Some people call this ethics by design. I'm not sure if I like that phrase entirely because it suggests that ethics is totally makeable, which it is not. I think typically every technology that we use also has a lot of unexpected ways of being incorporated uh, and appropriated by human beings. Uh, so you cannot design everything. But indeed, I do believe in a model of ethics where ethics is part of innovation, part of technology development and not something outside of it. Uh, ethicists that only try to evaluate technologies in terms of uh, should we or should we not have them in our society, I think fail to really engage with the content of technologies themselves. And that's where the real issues are. How can we design them in a responsible way uh, from the perspective of social values that are at stake evermore? Maybe an example of this uh, ethics by design approach uh, would be, for instance, uh, the introduction of uh, all kinds of robots in healthcare. Um, when I give a talk, I often show a picture of a feeding robot, so an artificial hand that feeds an elderly man. And I think most people, when they see that for the first time, really feel something like, whoa, is, is, is this the way we should go? And should we leave care to machines rather than to humans? It's about vulnerable people, and we should never do that. I think that's the, 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 the old-fashioned way of doing ethics, if I may. I think if you look more deeply into this example, uh, then I think you can see that there could be a lot of values embedded in the very design of such a uh, hand. And so my own father happened to be in a situation at the end of his life where he could not eat by himself anymore. Uh, so when I, thought of, uh, when I saw that thing for the first time, I thought, wow, my father would have loved this because he found it really terrible that other people had to feed him. My mother could do it, my sister and me, one neighbor, if we were not there, he would simply not eat. He, f he found it too humiliating. So this hand would have enabled him to regain a part of his dignity, actually. So there's a dignity in the design, if you design it well. And in our design lab, actually, some people also designed an extra algorithm with it uh, to help people who cannot even operate the hand with a chin or something. So then it, it does everything by itself, but it, it follows the conversation at the table. People feel most lonely when they have to eat all by themselves. And here the algorithm hears uh, whether there will be a pause in the conversation, and at that moment it gives a bit of food to the person. <laughs> it's kind of basic. It's also high tech, of course, but it's a very mundane thing. And I think that way of looking at robotics and healthcare helps me much more to take responsibility as a designer than asking yourself, should we or should we not have robots in healthcare? So maybe that example shows a bit of what I'm after. <laughs>